We've brought a team of students, faculty, and design professionals to the headquarters of Detroit Edison, where we hole up for four days and four nights to develop a vision, a plan, and an implementation strategy, in this case for downtown Detroit. It's a great space and a great place. We've divided up into teams with local professionals as well as professionals from around the country. So this is what people who say are college age or high school age call Detroit. In our group, we focused on creating kind of a, a new urban neighborhood, uh, multifamily orientation, uh, within the downtown building off of some of the existing assets. Other teams are concentrating on the entertainment sports district and enhancing that. And then uh, uh, even a, another team is uh, concentrating on specific infill opportunities, sort of micro insertions of energy within a zone of downtown. Instead of sort of big ticket projects, we're talking about small rehabilitation projects, new housing development, new parks, uh, maybe new forms of transportation. In my opinion, I think that there needs to be more connection going east-west, because I think you have Lafayette Park, you have Corktown, you have Mexican Town. Those are all wonderful areas of the city, and um, just strengthening those connections. And I understand that bus systems already do run to those places, but the perception and things that we've heard from people is that they're very inefficient and that, um, that it's not walkable. The suburbs don't have the DIA, they don't have the Detroit Athletic Club, they don't have the stadia, they don't have the museums, the library, they don't have the infrastructure. So it makes eminent sense on many levels to bring this city back. As Detroit goes, so goes the region. I would say there's a moral obligation for, you know, everyone to be taken care of and for the city of Detroit to come back and for the people that live here to benefit from that, from that resurgence.